Hola YouTube, my name is Marcelo and this is Four Seasons Adventures. It's late April 2021 and it's supposed to be a spring. But despite the snow and the cold weather, I gotta get rid of this trailer. We're gonna do several modifications, mods and upgrades. Stay with us, I'll show you all about it. Spring or not, we got 7 inches last night. It's kind of cold, about 30 degrees. I think I'm gonna wait a little bit. This is the great thing about Colorado. The snow melts away really quick. The first upgrade that I did to the trailer, it was tired. These tires were old and much needed replacement. But the problem is that these tires are made in China and with this coronavirus thing, I had to wait two months to get them. So, I had no choice but to get bigger tires and bigger rims. But that created another problem. Now, I didn't have enough room between the tire and the fender. So I had to visit a trailer shop and they flipped the axle. They moved the spring from under the axle to the top of the axle. Now the trailer sits about 5 inches higher than what it was before. The next thing we did, it was inside the bathroom. Since there is no windows, it was too dark and we needed to do something about that wall. So at least for now, we painted with a lighter color. We got a little creative and we used the sponge technique. Well, I'm not thrilled with the results, but it's a solution for now. Next item, that wall did not have a backsplash. So we use peel and stick tiles. But I didn't like the finish in the corners. So I got some wood molding from Home Depot, measure it, cut it, and paint it. And I think it looks way better. I also installed a tissue holder. I use the stud finder to find the wood studs. It only took a few minutes, and now we got the tissue close by. You never know when you're gonna need it. Another important modification, at least for me, it was to put the sticker on the back of the trailer. We want to personalize our trailer, and for that, we went to Ideal Print. It is a very small business, but that's exactly what I like it. You get personalized treatment. And the last modification we made, it was a weight distribution hitch. The weight of this trailer, it was way too much for the forerunner. We installed the Easy Lift E3 1000 and we did it a lumper hitch. These are the same guys who installed my brake controller. And that's all we have for this video. Like always, we appreciate so much your support and we'll see you soon.